Several years ago, a group of people who were involved at Stop Parental Alienation of Children, an agency of mine, were sitting around the dining room table, and someone said, you know what needs to happen here? We need to have a conference and bring everybody together that is interested in this subject. Can you imagine what could be accomplished there when we get acquainted with each other and share ideas and make plans on how to help parents that are facing this horrible tragedy of parental alienation and parental alienation syndrome. And unbeknownst to us, way up in Toronto, Canada, was Joe Goldberg. He had the same idea. Only Joe was able to pull it off. Two and a half years ago, we met in Toronto for our first conference. It was fabulous. It was everything I could possibly imagine it to be. And I said at the end, Joe, I hope you're not burned out because this was really good. And here is evidence that he wasn't burned out. Look at this, he pulled it off again. Welcome and give a big hand to Joe Goldberg. Thank you, Jane, for those kind words. Uh, I'd like to begin by um, saying to everyone here, welcome and thank you for coming. Uh, this is the uh, third conference organized by the Canadian Symposium for Parental Alienation Syndrome. Many people are owed a great debt of gratitude for their contributions in helping to make this event successful. I know that many people have uh, traveled a great distance to be here today, coming from cities from around the world, and we're very honored by your efforts to be here. Uh, some of you in attendance have also pioneered a sea change in the recognition of parental alienation and its acceptance within the scientific community. We've already seen some of those changes taking place in countries like Spain and Brazil, and I'm encouraged by the decision of the American Psychiatric Association to consider parental alienation disorder for inclusion in the DSM-5. Many of you are mental health professionals seeking a better understanding of parental alienation and how to help alienated children and their families. We also have a substantial number of family law lawyers in attendance Many of you have sought court interventions to help alienated children. Some of you work as guardian ad litems. And I want to thank you for coming and taking the time to get more updated on parental alienation and how you can pave the way to being more effective in strategies that can assist your clients. I also want to thank many targeted parents for coming and their family members who have also made the journey to be here. This conference offers to you the hope that your own pain and suffering will one day be replaced by the rebonding of your relationships with your children and that the professionals who have joined with you here today do care, do recognize the reality of parental alienation and are committed to a future that offers your children and future generations of children more education, more prevention, more protection of children from this terrible form of abuse. The theme of our conference is Parental Alienation Syndrome, Past, Present, and Future. We are very honored to present to you today a panel of esteemed speakers widely recognized in their fields of psychology, psychiatry, and family law. Many of the speakers have authored books and peer-reviewed articles on the topic of parental alienation and continue to advance the understanding of this dynamic through clinical and public education. <coughs> this evening, starting at 7 p.m., our program will highlight Dr. Amy Baker's presentation 
And we also have a very special surprise for everyone that comes back. I'm not going to announce uh, the names, but we have some very special guests who will be coming to this evening's program. I know that you won't want to miss it. I hope that all of you will come back and enjoy the evening with us. And I look forward to getting acquainted with many of you after these presentations. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Stephen Billick. Uh, Dr. Billick is a child and adolescent psychiatrist and forensic psychiatrist. Currently, Dr. Billick is the president of the American Academy of Psychiatry and the Law, oftentimes referred to as Apple. Apple is the professional organization for forensic psychiatrists in the United States. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Dr. Stephen Bellick. 